Hundreds of people crowded outside the State House Wednesday asking Mark Sanford to accept $700 million in stimulus money that would go to the education and corrections departments. The governor's response today? Too bad. They're not going to get that money. We believe very strongly that that piece, that 10% of the total of the stimulus monies that will be spent in South Carolina, needs to go to paying down debt. Sanford says he's certifying all of the state's money, which means he can request and spend all of it if he wants. But he says he won't request that $700 million unless it goes toward paying down the state debt and not to education or corrections. We believe not only our financial health will be improved, but employment options and other things will be improved by walking through this financial storm that we're in in a stronger financial position. But employment options won't improve for teachers as education spokesman Jim Foster estimates that up to 6,000 teachers may be laid off if the money doesn't come. And a spokesman for the corrections department said we cannot safely make such cuts without releasing inmates and closing prisons. But Sanford says those estimates are wrong and come from what he calls a chaos budget designed to scare people. If the numbers were going to come true based on that, again, chaos budget, I would be agreeing with him and I'd be standing out with the teachers that were standing out in front of the court, I mean, in front of the uh, state house. Sanford says it all goes back to a need to cut spending and reform the government. Do we use these galvanizing economic times to make some changes that in many cases are long overdue in South Carolina, or do we simply accept all the money that Washington has to offer and band-aid over those very changes that will make us more competitive over the long run? But in the meantime, many educators in the state still feel hung out to dry. Logan Smith. Carolina News.